So we're going to be installing this right car lower. Uh, Ronald's not here yet. Um, it is 10. He said it'll be here by 10, but uh, he looks like he's going to Escondido real quick and he'll be back. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be installing this and trying to... Hey, Good morning. morning. I'm going to be trying to install this and uh, seeing how, it, how easy this installation setup is, but hopefully it's easy. Hopefully the mic doesn't mess up. I know there's like some weird shit going on with it. So yeah, this is done. You can tell it's not supposed to move like this. So this metal rod, can't see it. I can't put the camera all the way in there, but uh, it broke. Guess that you know that metal thing right there in between the spring. That's the thing that snapped. So this is done. Um, he said I think this is a 17. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it and take all these out. Ronald said he's on his way, so it should be a matter of time until he gets here. I have to have the end links, you gotta take this off. Kinda wired it weird. So that's why it's like on this side, should be on the other side. Or like under. Um, yeah, so you have to drop this uh, knuckle and then end links here and there. That should be it. Yeah, what we got broken today? Color. Did you replace it already? No. Oh. I have one. I mean, I, technically, yeah, the, the coil is off, but the the end links needs to come off as well. What are you talking about? End links. You're replacing those two? Yeah. Came with it. Oh. They come with it. Well, that's easy. Uh, the only problem is you need an Allen key, and then you need the open ended or open. Oh. End. Okay. I do. Oh yeah, I got an Allen key in there already. Oh okay, so you're I just needed to figure out how to break it. Oh. Cause it's a, it's really weird, bringing it from the other side. Six. That being said, I'm gonna use this to see if I can break it. You need a torque wrench? Uh, I don't know what... Now we got everything on. Oh wait, I need to tighten the... Yeah, go tighten it. Okay. Still a work in progress. So we're hand tightening these. Because I'm kind of lazy to... I'm not going to put that in the video. I can feel the comments. Really? Dude, as long as you tighten it enough, you should be fine. It pops off. Dude, honestly, it's just it just adjusts the camera. It's not that big of a deal. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you tighten these ones, right? Nope. I tighten these. Yeah, that big roll. Why don't you put your fucking wheel on? I gotta get the wheel first. Alright. Dude, everything looks so cinematic with this camera. It's insane. Right. What the fuck? We are cambered out. Hopefully, it doesn't break on me. Let's see how low this is because I'm not adjusting any of it. He said it's kind of like okay to kind of just throw on. So I'm taking his word and I'm gonna see how it is. I didn't put the end links on because they're kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna wait until I get a guy who. Um, who has an impact gun? Let me use it. Oh, oh 
hope it doesn't hit the fender. Damn, sorry, that was a little too fast. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Dude, hell yeah. Camber, yeah. Camber. Ooh, toe is a... Uh, toe is a... Uh... I mean, the wheel could be like not straight. Yeah, yeah that's also true. Okay, you can handle the rest, right? Let me see this side. Chilling. Dude, on my other top hats, that one was maxed out. And then this one was like more cambered in, you know what I mean? Ew. Like, I had a, I don't know, this shit was weird. It was all bad. It was, it wasn't great. So I figured out this uh, nail in my tire though, but. Yeah. Overall, not bad. I agree. It's like the height I wanted too. Not too low. All right, now we're going on a little test drive so that way I can figure out how soft these are and make sure that, you know, the wheel is like, you know, not giving me any problems. So it's gonna be our first little drive and hopefully everything checks out okay. Now, I hope you guys don't dislike this video or unsubscribe because this is automatic. Just wanna let you guys know that. Turning is normal. Can I do a full lock? Nope, oh, rubbing. As usual. Nice. And I don't hear no clicking. The other core louvers were giving me a lot of fucking clicking. All the wheels are torqued down, everything else is torqued down. I'm trying to think of like what isn't. Do I have any fucking thing on the <laughs> on the hood? Just chilling. Wings tightened. Should be back to normal. Alright, let's see if I can clear this bump. Alright, said that. I mean, I didn't, I didn't change the rear, so I shouldn't have too much of a rear ride height difference. The front is definitely a lot higher, but, uh... Alright, this is, this is the big-ass bump that I always on. I probably still will. Yeah, I still do, but that's okay. Alright, I just got back home, and honestly, these are so dope. Ouch. Uh, these are really sick. I love them. Ride height is good. I get over bumps. Um, I don't know why I pause right there. The dampening is really awesome. It's not it's not too stiff, so it's dialed in perfectly. Um, so I didn't really have to do too much to it. I didn't really do much at all. Um, so I'm pretty happy with with the setup I got right now. Um, I just got to take out the nail out of the tire. Um, I'm just getting a new tire in general. Um, so yeah, these are these are dope. I'm very happy with these. Um, now I don't know what the difference would be if I had new Megan Racings and dialed it in. It might be maybe the same, but I'm, you know, I don't know. But so far these BC Racings are really good. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're stream lows. I don't know if there's another brand. Um, but regardless, I'm not even going low anyway. Um, these are awesome. These are perfect. So this is going to conclude the video for today. Um, Huge shout out to Ronald for helping me with the, um, the car lovers. It was uh, overall pretty good day. I think we've spent over almost three and a half hours doing this and we still haven't done the rear, which we still need to do, um, but I'm not tripping on it. Uh, so far the ride is pretty good overall. Um, these were dialed in as well, so, um, and they're not, they don't look like they're breaking anytime soon, but since I had the BC coilers, I might as well switch them. Um, the only thing I do have to do is the end links, but other than that, I should be, should be good, uh, to go with all the BC, uh, racing stuff. So, anyways, I'm gonna go back to work, um, let's see, 340, yeah, I'll just go back to work, uh, get some orders out, I gotta go to the post office and ship some stuff, and... Yeah, I just get back at it. So I'll see you guys in another video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you guys enjoy, you know, the style of these videos, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. It's light, it's dirty, it's tall. I was just in rooms. It's cool, man. It's a cool day.